the movie is super violent. Did you have to fight the MPAA to get the R rating? Did you have to make any changes? Uh, no, we did not. That's awesome. Um, did you have a much longer cut of the film? Um, like how long was your first cut or was it pretty close to what will be in theaters and HBO Max? The process of creating something like this, which is a constant sort of balancing and, and evolving process, it's kind of like sculpting, right? So there was, there were, it got a bit longer and it got a bit shorter and then it got a bit longer. It's just a constant balancing. You know, we never stopped that process of <clears throat> getting the story right, getting the balance right. And there's a lot of ingredients in this movie. So it was really just about balancing up those ingredients so that they felt correctly balanced and the pace of the film felt appropriate and really that's what we were judging everything by so yeah there's a few things that <clears throat> went went by the wayside but not a huge amount i mean uh, some of it was just it's not like whole scenes were just removed and you know, there's a couple of things that were off to the side maybe one day in years to come we might see the light of day but it was just you know it was just a trimming process really were the characters that came closest to make to being in the movie that were cut for whatever reason rain for a while was was being talked about and was in a in a very very early version of the script um but the way he was being uh handled wasn't really moving the story along and was wildly expensive got it so, so it was just that combination of like well this is not really nor was he, it's not like it was Raiden or, <laughs> or you know, Liu Kang or this or Sonya Blade, not a really, really key classic. Um, so that's probably the only one. That's, a, that's why they, they make these things called sequels. Um, yeah. Uh, who do you think is the strongest character in the game? And who do you think is the strongest character in the movie? When you mean strongest, do you mean hardest to beat or you mean as a character well-defined? Oh, I would say the hardest the hardest to beat. It, I, don't, I don't think, it, to me, it doesn't really boil down to character in the game. It's who the human you're playing is. Um, so it's hard for me to know because I always get destroyed by everyone. So um, <laughs> everyone beats me because uh, I'm not very well, I'm not very good at it. Um, and then in the games, I well, I think in the in the film, yeah, I guess you'd probably have to say it'd be Scorpion or Sub Zero. But really, if you look at each of them, each of them would be pretty. I, I think my goal was always to try and make them as even as possible. It was really the the fire within their emotional part of their character that that drove them one way or the other. So, you know, the the intent for revenge on his family from scorpion is really the thing that sort of allows him to is that is the engine that allows him to prevail do you know the mortal Kombat theme song and can you sing it <laughs> yes and no <laughs> i don't i don't i don't blame you <laughs> i won't make you i've do heard it. i've heard that song about eight million times so okay. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> um, who do you think has the most brutal fatality in the game? Uh, I am curious what you think about that. I don't really know, to be honest. I, it, it just it's in the eye of the beholder, right? So, do you have a favorite then? I, I've always the reason I've always loved the Kung Lao hat stuff, and that's why. That's why that's in there, because to me it just had a had a, a sort of a dynamic visual inventiveness to it that that tended to transcend just sort of out and out violence. It had a, had really good ideas, and I, I like that aspect of it. <clears throat> so I, I'm always looking for okay, what's the idea within it? What what can what are the things that the audience is going to enjoy just on a sort of a on a, you're just seeing a, a, a character work something out or it's like the blood blade, right? So mm -hmm. those are the ideas that I feel are the, are, 
the ones that audiences really connect with because you're giving, they're like little gifts along the way. And you've got to keep giving those gifts. So there's multi layers of things going on. So there's character, there's story structure. There's obviously moving all that along. But then during that, you've got to provide these moments of surprise and inventiveness and these little. So that was this sort of layering of, of what was going on in on my mind all the time of how we balance all that stuff out. Sorry, I off-roaded on your question there, but. No, it's fine. This is my last thing because I think I'm out of time. Um, did you ever discuss doing like an after the credit scene at the end of the credits or during the credits? Was that ever something that came up? Yeah, we talked about it, but we never wanted to do anything just for the sake of doing what everyone else does. Uh, we really knew we had something original here and you know, no one in, at the studio and no one, but none of us ever felt like, oh, well, we've got to do that. It was just more like, okay, what, what's right for our story and what's right to to make this movie. And so, yeah, I mean, it was talked about, um, had ideas around, but it wasn't, it never really, once we locked in and once that, once that ending locked in, we, we okay, great, we've got that, so. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, I gotta go. I'm just gonna say congrats. I hope it's a huge hit and you get to make another one. Thank you for your Thanks, time. Mate. Thank you very much, mate. Nice chatting.